I start with this quote, WebGIS is not just for the experts. It used to be that in order to build a web-based application, you needed to have a GIS professional, you needed to have a database uh, administrator, and you needed to have a, a server sysadmin person. All together, you're all experts and you had to build a web application. Nowadays, though, technology has become more accessible. It's become easier for us to build our own applications with relative ease. What I'm here to do today is to show you how to build a web-based mapping application, a data visualization site that uses mapping as the way to look and at our data. I'm going to start by going back in time. We're going to go back in time to 2005. As somebody who's done web mapping for a very long time, 2005 represented a very, very uh, distinct time frame of web mapping history. It was the day that Google Maps first came out. Now, Google Maps was revolutionary in that it allowed for the very first time for a lot of interactivity with the map on the web. Prior to Google Maps, you had a static image that was a map that you had to basically click and wait for the server to bring in an image, render it, and then send it back to the user. Google Maps got rid of this whole waiting for the server to render an image by introducing what's called a slippy map. It basically took the image of every single location on planet Earth, created a tiled image of it, and like a puzzle, put it all together so that we can actually move this map around left and right, north and south, and so forth. It was really revolutionary at its time. What was perhaps even more significant to us was that Google Maps also came out with the Google Maps JavaScript API. Now, the JavaScript API all of a sudden allowed anybody to actually embed the Google Maps into their own website. And then we could customize it. So, for example, we could tell the map to start at a particular location. We could tell it to be start at its particular zoom level. And more exciting is that we could actually overlay our own data onto that map. All of a sudden, we had the ability to build web mapping applications that leveraged on the Google Maps uh, interface. We're going to look at different technologies that make up building a web mapping application. First, we have HTML, which defines the uh, layout of the site. Then we're going to look at CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, which defines the look and feel, the design, the colors of the website. And finally, we're going to look at JavaScript programming, which defines the interactivity that the site provides. We're also going to borrow libraries, external libraries, into our application. So for example, we're going to look at Leaflet, which is a mapping JavaScript library. We're also going to look at Bootstrap, which is a library that allows us to design our sites with ease. And we're going to look at jQuery, which is another JavaScript library that allows us to write JavaScript with less code. In the next chapter, we're going to look at what can be mapped on the web. And we're going to look at different examples of existing web mapping applications.